Today, we're taking a look at the second generation Ford Transit Connect, and we're gonna be going over all the recalls that have been released for this model. This will give you a good idea of what to look for on your vehicles, and if you don't think you've had any of these problems fixed, you should bring it into Ford and have these fixed because a lot of them are safety issues. In this video, we're gonna be going over everything from having your vehicle randomly rolling away, to having doors randomly open on you, to having your vehicle randomly stall out. All this could be prevented and fixed for free since it was a recall. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that has been recalled on your vehicle. Let's get right into it. The first one on this list went into effect in July of 2014. And luckily this one affects a small number of vehicles. This recall was that Ford released a small number of vehicles with incorrectly labeled brake fluid reservoir caps, which means that it didn't designate what kind of fluid to go in there since there are different kinds of brake fluid. If you run the wrong kind of brake fluid in a system, it could deteriorate seals, cause leaks, and ultimately make it so you can't stop how you should be able to. Number two on this list affects more vehicles at around 25,000 and that was that in November of 2014, Ford released a recall that some fuel lines could rub against each other and cause leaks, which could lead to fires. Once again, that's a slightly larger recall because it's a big problem and it affects a lot more vehicles. This next recall, which affects transit cargo vans, came out in 2015 and it affects about 20,000 vehicles. And that was that Ford used a improper adhesive on your plastic door panels on your sliding doors, which could cause them to come loose and create an increase risk of crash. Next, in February of 2015, Ford had a fuel pump problem that affected about 55,000 vehicles. Now, this problem was caused by bad plating on your fuel pumps, which caused them to suddenly fail, not do their job and deliver fuel to your engine, and could cause sudden stalling of your vehicle. In March of 2015, Ford recalled about 16,000 of these transits for having improperly torqued upper seatbelt anchors, and that could cause some obvious problems because you do not want your seatbelts coming loose in the event of a crash. The next recall, which came out in August of 2015, once again happened with an interior part of the van, and this one was with the gauge clusters. Ford recalled about 185,000 vehicles of both the Transit and other models for this issue. The problem was that the warning lights on the gauge cluster weren't functioning properly, so the driver may not have been warned about improper tire pressure, improper airbag faults, and things like that. So that's one that you definitely should look at getting fixed. In January of 2017, Ford came out with a really big recall that affected about 2 million vehicles. And that was that their doors would not properly latch sometimes and they would just randomly open causing you to potentially fall out of your vehicle and have other problems like that. The next one is luckily a smaller recall that affected just about a thousand vehicles and that was with vehicles with panoramic sunroofs. These sunroofs would sometimes separate from the rest of the body of the car, causing leaks and more importantly, other potential safety issues for the driver. In January of 2018, Ford recalled over 200,000 vehicles, which included the Ford Transit. This one was specific to vehicles with the 1.6 liter engine, and this problem was that the cylinder heads would crack on these vehicles if they ran low on coolant and overheated. Obviously, you shouldn't be running your vehicles low on coolant, and you should be checking that, but if it did happen, the cylinder heads would crack, leak oil, and cause potential for a fire. In May of 2020, Ford released another one for the sunroofs on these vehicles. Obviously, again, this one doesn't have a sunroof, but this was another problem related to the bond of the sunroof to the vehicle. In July of 2020, Ford once again released a recall for those door handle latches. This time, the recall affected about 2.1 million vehicles, and that included rechecking the ones that they had fixed with the previous recall. And most recently, in the summer of 2021, Ford released a recall for the shifters on the 2.5 liter vans because they would have a tendency to not actually be in the position that you put it in. So if you put it in park, it could actually not be in park and your vehicle could roll away and cause some serious problems due to that. 
Additionally with this one, you could put your vehicle in a position like reverse and have it go forward or the opposite way. This one basically needs to be fixed so you know that your vehicle is going to do what you think it should do based on your gear selector. In 2016, Ford released a recall that if your brake hydraulic control unit became contaminated, some of your braking systems and your stability control systems would become less effective and degrade in performance. This one only affected 2016 model vans. In August of 2020, Ford recalled a little under 2,000 vehicles for having faulty airbag pretensioners. These things wouldn't deploy properly in a crash, so they recalled them so your seatbelts would work properly. In 2019, about 800 of these vans were recalled for having faulty seatbacks that would move in the event of a crash. Without the seatback performing how it should, there was an increased risk of injury. In 2020, Ford recalled a small number of vehicles, 97 vehicles to be exact, including the Transit Connect, that could have a potential transmission fluid leak. If it has this leak, you're under increased risk of fire and you should get that fixed. In 2020, Ford recalled about 2,000 Ford Transit Connects for having possible overheating issues. This one was specific to the 2.5 liter engine. Another small but important one, in 2021, Ford released a very small number of vehicles for having faulty airbags that would not deploy in a crash. And finally, the last one on this list since I'm filming this towards the end of 2021 is that Ford recalled a number of 2021 Transit Connects for having faulty seatbelt mechanisms that would not work properly as a child restraint. And with all that, that is going to bring us to the end of this list. I hope you learned something if you have one of these vehicles. Like I said, if your vehicle has been recalled, you need to bring it down to your Ford dealership, give them a call and say, hey, I see that there's a recall on these parts. Can you please fix it? And the reason that there are recalls is because they're safety concerns and you really should get them fixed. With that, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope you stick around for more videos like this.